All right, um, hey guys, how's it going? It's um, Saturday, December 21st, 2019, um, at like 9.06 p.m. Um, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I woke up like at 10 something or whatever, got up, just had some pizza pops for breakfast. That's for lunch or supper, bro. Well, why do you eat pizza pops? Because they're good. I love pizza pops. They're awesome. <sighs> and I just watch YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, that stuff. Um, went to Tim Hortons before the game. Got a 20-pack of Timbits for people and for me, an ice cap. <sighs> I went with my um, uncle, who's from Edmonton. Um, yeah, he's here for the holidays because his daughter is um, going on a field trip to like South America. I can't remember. Hope she has fun. Um, if you're watching this, have fun. Uh, tell me what you learned, what you experienced, and yeah. Whew. Sorry for your kids yelling. But yeah, Jets just played against the Minnesota Wild. They dominated 6-0, which is awesome. <sighs> Huge win, to be honest, because Jets were losing. Like, they're on a two-game losing streak because um, they played on Tuesday against the Carolina Hurricanes, got their ass kicked 6-3. Um, they mostly got their ass kicked in the second period. And they lost 4-1 uh, to Chicago, the Chicago Blackhawks on uh, Thursday, 4-1. First two periods, they played pretty good, but the third period, they just just stopped. Yeah, I say turnovers um, cost us in that game. And a bad penalty kill. But if you're a Blackhawks Hurricanes fan, I respect you. Um, not a big fan. I don't mind the Blackhawks though. I kind of like them. Not really a big Hurricanes fan. My opinion, if you're a Hurricanes fan, if you're watching this, um, I recommend not watching this because you might get offended, but I'm just speaking out my opinions. Um, you can just mute the part or don't watch it at all. Sorry if I spit. I'm um, just going to cross the street. Yeah. Just my reason why I don't like the Hurricanes because, like, again, uh, I'm not really a big fan of Southern United States hockey, like, like Texas, uh, Arizona, Florida, Carolina, Ca Southern California, you know. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of Southern U.S. hockey, like hockey in the South United States of America. I don't hate them all. I like some of them, but I just feel like um, they're mostly more like baseball, football, and even basketball markets. But there, I know there's some hockey fans down there, and I, res I respect them, but I just feel like they're like better places for like to put a hockey team, like Quebec City, maybe Hartford again. Uh, Seattle's getting a team, which is good. Kind of glad Seattle's getting a team. I prefer Quebec City, but... Ah, at least it's going in the south, I mean, not the south, the uh, north U.S. though. Hockey's usually like like Canada and the northern U.S., like Min U.S., like Minnesota, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, uh, like Boston, like especially Boston, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, um, Missouri, um, especially like St. Louis. Uh, Kansas City used to have a team, the Kansas City Scouts, like back in the... 60s, 70s. Um, I don't know why they moved. Because they moved to Colorado, became the Rockies. Not the baseball team. Then like a couple years later, they moved to New Jersey. I don't know if they moved to New York first or another city in New Jersey, but then became the Devils. Or I should have mentioned New York. Like New York City, Buffalo, they're good hockey markets. And yeah, I like them. I like the Devils, Sabres, Rangers, uh, Islanders. Yeah. Oh God, I hope this doesn't stop the video because I have the cover on. Oh, thank God. 
because my phone case has a cover has a case that cover close it so it doesn't let loose uh yeah i've been pretty impressed with the jets this season didn't i think they were like seven six in october or whatever no i think they were six seven like six wins seven losses and then man they really picked up in november which was awesome excuse me <sighs> My Edmonton Oilers aren't really doing the best this season. Like they had a good, great October, a decent November, December. They've been cooling off. Like James Neal's cooled off. Um, he hasn't been doing much lately. Uh, I think the, I just hope the Oilers aren't going back to a two-man team, just McDavid and Drysital. <sighs> yeah, Nugent Hopkins hasn't been doing much lately. Uh, yeah. Smith has been playing good. Koskinen's been playing okay. <sighs> Shirelli, Peter Shirelli really ruined that team. Only good thing he did with the Oilers was draft Connor McDavid. That's the only good thing he did. Trades away Taylor Hall, Jordan Eberle, Justin Schultz. Uh, who else? Traded a pick, which was like Matt Barzell for Griffin Reinhardt. I don't know if I'm... Um, Anthony Bovillia was part of that pick. Uh, I don't know. I think it was just Matt Barzell. Or I can't remember. I'm going to feel stupid in a second now. But anyways. Uh, oh, he trades him for scrubs. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you trade them for that? Use this thing. Taylor Hall was your MVP. When the Oilers, before the Oilers had McDavid. He basically carried that team to nowhere. Oh, my arm's getting sore a little bit. And Everly too. They traded him just because he didn't do crap in the playoffs. He didn't, I don't think he got a point either. Well, it's his first time in the playoffs. So, yeah, he's going to be nervous. Because playoffs is, like, more physical. Like, it's more tougher than regular season. God. That's stupid. Now he's doing great with the Islanders right now. Terry Hall just got traded to the Coyotes. Yeah, he's got traded from the Devils because the Devils were crap in the bed this season. Yeah. I haven't said it. I don't think I said a curse word in this video because I said crap because I got to try to lower down my cursing a little bit. I don't curse a lot, but sometimes I do. Like I say like a couple times in my videos. <sighs> So I gotta try to lay off that. It's fine to curse, just that's why it's fine to curse. As long, mostly if you like use them for yourself or whatever. I guess if you use them as an insult, yeah, that's when you can like get in trouble. Oh come on, deep snow. But they're, overall, they're just words, though. I made a video about curse words are just words, like last year or whatever. Well, they, it's kind of they kind of are actually, yeah. Like again, I know I'm repeating it after myself, but yeah, I get they can be like offensive sometimes if you use them for like insults or whatever. Yeah, that I understand. But if you're just using them for yourself, like holy shit, I just did something. You get in trouble. Like, why the hell did you do that? Well, maybe that's kind of an insult, but. Like, why the hell did he go there? Hey, don't say that. You know. Oh, uh, they're just... God, more, I'm not going to say it again. But anyways, uh, yeah. Like, when parents don't like you when their kids curse. But yet, yet, I bet they curse right in front of their faces. Like, they'll say the F word in front of them, so that's why they learn it from you. Yet you get all mad at them. <sighs> I mean, kinda hypocritical, I'm just saying. It's kinda, parents are kinda being a little bit of hypocrites. So they should, they swear, they if they swear, they if, cause they swear, and if their kids swear, they shouldn't, or other people, even if their kids are like older, like older than 15, then they shouldn't be getting mad. Like, 15 is kind of like a fine age to curse. 
I will admit it is kind of cringing like kids movies or whatever like anime movies like Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, etc. How old man, that is kind of cringy a little bit. Like, this makes me, ugh. Just walking by the school. I'm on my way home right now, but... Speaking of which, um, about the Jets, Blake Wheeler had to hit a milestone on this this afternoon on the two because he got a goal and an an assist which is awesome he's my favorite player on the jets right now here excuse me oh no orange with seeds in it oh god people don't litter uh yeah jeez i see a kool-aid God, people, that's, don't litter. God, people are going to think I'm weird for kids over there. I don't really care. What is this thing, people? A garbage can. That's where things go when you don't want things. Like your garbage, fur wraps, boxes. That's where they're supposed to go. What the hell is that? It looks like a... What the hell is that? It looks like toy cherries or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, Blake Wheeler. I forgot how many points he has. He's like 600 something. Um, just can't think of it right now. Uh, I'll look it up when I get home. Cause I was at the Bell MTS Iceplex yesterday afternoon, and guess what my uncle got me? Guess what my uncle Rob got me? Check that out. I don't know if you can see that all, but. Yeah, how sexy is this? Oh, love that logo in Jersey. And look what I got on my Jersey. The C, guess who? Do you think it's um, Andrew Ladd? Do you think it's Blake Wheeler? The answer is Blake Wheeler. <laughs> and I got a surprise, I got something to show you when I get home. <sighs> yeah, I'll show it to you when I get home. I'll show you something on the jersey that's kind of really cool. Yeah, um, good thing uh, I'm off for two weeks because of Christmas vacation. <sighs> I love Christmas, but I just feel like when you get older, it just starts to get more boring and it feels like a chore or whatever. <sighs> Like, I haven't watched any Christmas movies yet. That's kind of scary, too, because I want to watch Christmas movies before Christmas Eve. Maybe I'll watch some tomorrow. Maybe I'll watch Home Alone, Elf, uh, Mickey's Once and Twice Upon a Christmas, uh, Mickey Mouse, Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowden at the House of Mouse. Uh, I said Home Alone. I don't think I mentioned Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Uh, Frosty the Snowman, Frosty Returns, Santa Claus is coming to town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <sighs> National Lapoon's Christmas Vacation. That's a good one, you know, Clark Griswold. That's a funny one, Cousin Eddie. Shitter was full! Is that a load? <laughs> Shitter was full! <laughs> I don't really care. That's, that's memorable. I saw one of my mom, like on my um, fa friends on my Facebook, um, who were family, and they made a Christmas decoration outside of the house saying "shitter's full." I don't really see the problem. I don't really care if people do that. They're just, it's just a word I said. It was funny when Clark flips out, like when he gets mad, <laughs> like when he got that bonus and. Uh, it turns out to be like a month at a jelly club or whatever. And then he tears it apart, drinks like eggnog and starts ranting on his boss or whatever. That was funny. And when the squirrel was, their squirrel was in their house because it was in the Christmas tree they chopped down in the beginning of the movie. It turns out there was a squirrel living there. That was funny. 
What's another thing I like about that movie? Uncle Lewis and Aunt Bethany. Oh my God, they're funny. Uncle Lewis. <laughs> like um, when he was lighting up his cigar by the Christmas tree and it exploded because the tree was dry. And then Clark comes in the living room. Lewis, my tree. And Uncle Lewis was like, so what's the matter with you? Look what you've done to my tree. And then he turns and his back was on fire. And Clark was like, Lewis. <laughs> and he takes the house curtains and starts patting him or whatever. That was so funny. <laughs> I like the dinner part where like the, they were saying grace and they asked Aunt Bethany to do it. Since it, since it was like her 80th birthday. No, not, why do I say birthday? Christmas. God, brain fart. Blue. Since this is Aunt Bethany's 80th Christmas. I think she should lead us in the saying of grace. <laughs> what, dear? Grace. Grace. She passed away 30 years ago. And Uncle Lou was like, they want you to say grace. And Aunt Bethy shakes her head. And Uncle Lou was like, the blessing. Oh my God, that was funny. I love that part. Just the way how Uncle Lewis talks is so funny. <laughs> and then Aunt Bethany says the Pledge of Allegiance of the United States or whatever. Oh, that was funny. I just love that movie. I love Christmas movies. I gotta start watching them. <sighs> Maybe I'll rant on that someday. Um, why growing up sucks. Because it, it's really depressing. Maybe that'll be similar to like my... Aging videos, like aging socks, aging is so depressing videos. Maybe similar to that, but I don't know. It really sucks growing up. Like, yeah, being an adult, it's good because you get to do more things. But being a kid, um, you got, you got, you, sorry, I can't talk. Well, you deal with like less bullshit. Uh, well, yeah, you kind of do because you have to go to bed early and you, have to obey your parents, like you can't do certain things. <sighs> God, I really want my childhood back. I want to relive my childhood so bad. When I still lived in Nova Scotia for the first four and a half years of my life, um, from 2002 to Halloween of 2006. I miss those days. Um, if you're wondering, um, what town I lived in. I lived in um, New Germany, Nova Scotia. Meh, maybe someone who lives in there, um, maybe you'll watch this. Uh, not my favorite town. Like Again, I don't like criticizing cities or towns or whatever, but God, there's no offense to the people who live in New Germany, but God, it's so boring there. Nothing to do, really. Just schools, uh, like Fresh Mart, a bakery or whatever, um, a shopper's drug mart and two bridges. The green bridge is over a river. I loved going there. Like one of them had like a walkway, like a walkway bridge. I used to call it a hill. Like go on that hill. I don't, why did I call it a hill? It's a walkway. Idiot me in 2004 or five, six. <laughs> why did I say idiot? I was a kid back then. I didn't know any better. Yeah. Um, I, I was born in Bridgewater though. It's a nice little town. They got the mall, Walmart, Canadian Tire, um, Atlantic Superstore, Sobeys, a movie theater. Yeah. Um, Halifax is a beautiful city. I love Halifax. I don't know if I want to move back there because I love Winnipeg, but well, I, I like Winnipeg. I should say that, but <sighs> my three favorite cities are Canada, are Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Halifax. In no order. Uh, Edmonton, well, because I like the Oilers. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think Winnipeg is just a bigger version. It's just a smaller version of Edmonton. God, I can't speak. Uh, I think um, I think Edmonton is just a bigger version of Winnipeg. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if you're from Edmonton, you may see it that way. Uh, some cities are a bigger or smaller version of you. Um... Yeah. God, I love how little cities though. I like other cities too, but those are my most favorites in Canada. If I had to make, make a top five, Winnipeg, Halifax, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, 
honorable mentions, Montreal, Ottawa. Uh, yeah. I'm a city boy, that's for sure. I like living in like Western Canada better. Like I love Eastern Canada, but I'm, I like living in Western Canada better though. At least somewhere in the West. <sighs> but yeah. Make sure the video's still going. Hope it doesn't stop recording. That's good. 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. People say, oh, you like Winnipeg? Winnipeg is a shithole. No shit. To be honest, every city has their own problems. Like bad neighborhoods, drugs, crimes, like stabs, shootings, uh, mud gain. Every city has that, to be honest, so you shouldn't really be complaining. I get why people hate us because we're like number one or whatever, but eh. It's mainly in the north end area, like the downtown area. It's like northern downtown. Ugh. If you're people who are ever moving to Winnipeg or plan on moving to Winnipeg, stay out of North End. Mostly like the western or the southern side of the city is, is, is good. And maybe a little bit of the eastern. I say mainly like the north and somewhat the eastern side of the city is like where the sketchiness is. But yeah. And my uncle Rob, who's from Edmonton, um... He, he lives in Edmonton. Uh, shouldn't really say that. I'm sorry, but well, he say he's from there. Um, he said Edmonton has like a drinking problem. Maybe if you live in Edmonton, you probably realize that too. But there's so many people like getting like wasted on the streets, doing stupid things. Yeah. And Halifax has bad crime too. Mostly in the northern side of the city, like stabbing, shootings. Like I said, every city has those problems, so you shouldn't be complaining, you people. Uh-oh. Am I going to get crap for saying you people? I don't really care. Stop being so sensitive, people. Yeah, I'm a little bit sensitive, I will admit, but geez. Shouldn't be that sensitive. God. Uh, maybe I'll watch the, I might watch the Oilers game tonight against the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, man, like I said before, Oilers have been crapped in the bed lately. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. God, why did I look like frozen for a second? Oh, God. Like, I feel like I did something wrong. I don't know. But anyways, I'll record more when I get home. Show you that sexy jersey and, and what happened to it. Check that out, people. Blake Wheeler, that's my, my jersey that Uncle Rob got. Look at that, people. What is that? Guess whose autograph that is. Yep, you guessed it. Blake Wheeler. <laughs> so you got the Bell MTS Ice Plex, my... Uncles were waiting outside uh, the parking lot in the eastern part of the ice plex. Uh, it was chilly outside, and we saw Blake Wheeler um, get into his truck. Uh, and my uncle Joe was like, "Hey, Mister Wheeler, can we get your can my nephew get his autograph? Your autograph? That's what I meant to say." Uh, he said, and he yelled to us, "Yeah, just let me get in my truck." That was my cat. Sorry, guys. God, <laughs> trying to stop her. But anyways, uh. So he drove to us, uh, he rolled down his window, and because I was wearing my, um, my dad's, uh, Edmonton Oilers hat for getting an autograph for Charlie Huddy, and Wheeler, when he first saw me, he said, put a hat on, man, <laughs> so he signed my jersey, and he smiled at us and said, Merry Christmas, and yeah, and moments later, like 10 minutes later, we saw Charlie Huddy, the Jets' defensive assistant coach, and former Edmonton Oiler and former Oiler assistant coach, Charlie Huddy. I already said that, but so we saw him get out of the ice bags, and my uncle was like, "Hey, Mr. Huddy, can, can, can my nephew get his autograph for his your his dad? Why am I saying his? Sorry, uh." So 
we walk up to him respectfully, and he signed my hat for my dad's Oilers hat, which is awesome. Well, my dad's Oilers hat. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking, but yeah, that was awesome. And you know what? We'll show you guys that too. I'll be right back. Yeah, people, this is Charlie Huddy's autograph. Um, it's my dad's Oilers hat. This is the one I had. Uh, yeah, Charlie Huddy. Everybody wrote his number right there. It's awesome. Yeah, Blake Wheeler and Charlie Huddy. Great day last yesterday. Oh, now Blake Wheeler. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna look up the points. All right, there's my man right there, everybody. Where's the mouse? Uh, what about Jets for Blake Wheeler? Or is the franchise leader in points with six sixteen? I don't feel like reading any of this, but like the rest. But yeah, how awesome is that, people? Uh, there's my cat. Um. So yeah, people, have a good rest of your day. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's fine. Um, if you're Jewish, Happy Hanukkah, and yeah. See you later, everybody.